radio handy. Uh, so guys, uh, why is it so dark on the ship? Uh, I was told there would be knives here for me to pick up. But slaves oh. are my power. You know, that's, that's, Move that's very... Um, tell you what, I really don't want to interrupt this. How about I just get the knives a little bit later? Guys, you saw that title right. We're going to look at this off-grid knives and the Hogue Decca Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. So that intro was a lot more difficult to shoot than it, than it looks. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys know what time it is, turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music and we're going to take a look at these side by side from above. guys so these knives came in both from the same person this is the off-grid knives scorpion and it just so happens to be in the gold and black and this is the hogue deca sub-zero deca that was a smoky mountain knife works exclusive so we're going to look at each of these individually let's go ahead and get these out of here and we're going to look at sub-zero first I'll tell you how we're doing this this is going to be a knife fat knife fight format so i'm just doing first impressions i have done nothing with these knives it was really hard not to um so first impressions that is probably the bet oh guys no joke i just it's 93 degrees outside if you don't believe me and it's like 80 degrees in my garage and I just got goosebumps. Look at that carbon fiber. So this thing is drop dead gorgeous. Hogue Deca. So USA made. It is a Axis style lock or sliding bar lock done in a black blade. It is in CPM Magna Cut. So this is the first Magna Cut I've had here. The edge seems to be nuts on this. Hogue's come extremely sharp. So first blush, this knife is very, very light. Um, it is incredibly attractive. Like I'm not doing anything to make it look like that, guys. This is not anything I'm doing in post. I'm not using a filter. This is just what this knife looks like. So the Hogue Deca, so um, like I said, gonna be a knife fight. I'm just gonna do some first impressions and we'll take a look at, and then we may do a rematch later. So you're looking at, you know, Magna Cut Blade. This is an Elijah Witz design, thumb stud operator, but it is also a, um, you can call it an access lock, sliding bar lock, so you have multiple means of deployment. It's ambidextrous, thumb studs on both sides, and it has a reversible pocket clip. So truly an ambidextrous knife. So if you're a lefty, action on it is amazingly great. This thing is so light, guys. Like I'll look up the weight uh, after, before I edit this, finish editing this, but this is amazing how it looks. So. I, it's it's so light in hand, it almost feels like it doesn't exist. Typically, I'm a fan of a heavier knife, but the fact is that this is so attractive. I could get past the weight. Nice construction, good clean. I'm not seeing any gaps. Centering is dead center, unlike a lot of actual Benchmades. The action on it is really smooth. Um, now we'll talk about the blade. The blade, like I said, it's a nice shape blade, nice little uh, clip point blade on this Hogue Deca, nice swedge. It has got a coating on it. Uh, it is a matte coating. Typically those coatings don't hold up as well. I'm not sure what the coating is on this. If it's just a standard black PVD, which PVD is a process, not a coating. So depending on what the coating is, it could be, um, you know, it could just be a standard PVD. I'm not 100% sure, but it is a little bit friction. I can feel a little friction on that. That's why I typically don't like the matte finishes. So um, I'm gonna try and give each knife five minutes uh, to talk about the things I'm noticing. Hardware is attractive. Everything is nice and tight. There is no blade play, none, um, which is good, especially considering it's a sliding bar lock or access lock. Access locks typically have, when they're nice and free, they typically have a little bit of play um, in the pivot. Uh, so that is a beautiful blade. Uh, it's not too thick behind the edge. 
it seems to be ground nice and consistent. Like I said, Hogue does a pretty good job with their stuff. Nice, affordable knife. Pocket clip doesn't seem to be too bothersome. It is a little bit difficult. I did put this in my pocket right before, and I'll let you listen to it. It's a little stiff in and out of pocket, and I think a lot of that has to do with the finish on that uh, on that carbon fiber. It's not 100% smooth. You can still see a lot of the milling marks, but they did it just to a point where you got the nice contrast. I don't think that the blue would have stood out as much if they had polished this. I think you would have lost some of the iridescence of that blue and whatever they did. So you can still see some milling marks. So it's not perfectly smooth. You kind of hear it. So in and out of pocket, it's a little bit, it's a little bit rough, but I think that over time, like that area under the pocket clip, I think it would smooth out. Carbon fiber will kind of smooth out and polish on its own. So you can kind of see like it's, it's not perfectly smooth on the side. So in and out of pocket, a little bit of friction, but um, some of that could be, that's a relatively steep or thick, thick stiff pocket clip that's the word i was looking for but it catches your pocket nice because it's got that large area there um you can see that blue goes all the way through so yeah i mean that's pretty much it on this hoke deca i'm gonna carry it for a little bit i'm gonna make sure that winston's cool with me carrying this and cutting with it it looks like it's pristine and brand new so we'll see what he says i don't know how much actual cutting i'm gonna do because if that does shine up and it scratches that covering that coating I would probably feel bad. So let's go ahead and let's bring in the other one, the Off-Grid Knives Scorpion. Right, so this is the Off-Grid Knives Scorpion, and I misspoke earlier, I apologize. This is an American company, but this was made by Best Tech. So just to get that out of the way before anybody starts complaining. So this is the Off-Grid Knives Scorpion, 6A04V titanium and carbon fiber. It's done with this beautiful carbon fiber that is in the gold and black, and that's why this scorpion is done in this that's why this worked that's why the thumbnail worked it's because this this is done in the color scheme of scorpion from the video game so we have the two mortal enemies meeting um this is a flipper m390 running on bearings the action on is really good this thing is way heavier not gonna lie way heavier than the deca but that's because you're, you've got a lot of titanium, big steel blade. Uh, they're DLC and tumble coated blades, same as the handles um, with these carbon fiber inlays or fat carbon. I'm not sure exactly who, sure who did it. Comes down nice and thin, nice piercing point. So this is a really attractive knife. Um, I only know this because I just looked it up far enough. I didn't look at price, just enough to know what the materials were. I didn't want to say it was titanium and have it be steel. Um, full backspacer on that. The pocket clip is long. Um, and it's kind of tall, but it doesn't really bother you at all. It doesn't feel like it's a hot spot. So in and out of pocket, I have not had this in pocket yet. Let's go ahead and see. It drops into pocket really, really well. And then comes out just, a. it's a little light on tension. I think, I think that this would be something that may walk in, um, pants. And another thing I'm not a fan of is it's right up against the lock bar, but it's not in, or I'm sorry, the lock bar cutout, but it's not in it. So usually when you see that, that gives you some problems with some pinch, but I'm not feeling that. But the action on it is a little softer um, than some other knives. You really kind of got to load up on that flipper, I'm noticing. Uh, let's see here, jimping. Like I said, this is first impression, guys. I am literally learning about this knife as we go along. Jimping on it is pretty good, actually. That's just about the perfect amount of sharpness on that jimping so it's not uncomfortable but it definitely keeps you from sliding forward a um, little bit of little bit of drag in that it probably needs a little bit of lubrication action on it is snappy when you load up on it but if you just happen to it's kind of soft if you just try to if you try to light switch it it's a little softer than if you load up on it and just give it a good oomph yeah attractive attractive nice knife uh, harpoon style blade, of course. It's Scorpion from the video game. You know, he had his harpoon that came out of his... Well, you saw it. It was in the intro. Um, but I do like this two-tone. It's nice and thin for as as broad, and that's a fairly thick blade stock. That comes down and it grinds down nice. Nice, acute, keen edge on this. Nice piercing tip. Reversible pocket clip, so it is left-handed, but it is a frame lock, so you are going to have that issue where deployment and unlocking is going to be a little bit different. Um, so I, my buddy Tino, though, has said that he, as a lefty, he does not mind a right-handed knife if the pocket clip's reversible because he can, like, it kind of keeps his finger out of the travel of the blade, so that might be something to think about. Grind on this is really good. I'm not seeing any inconsistencies. I'm not feeling any thick spots. 
it's not off center or asymmetrical. Let's see what it looks like closed. Are we got any centering issues? None, none at all. There's some jimping back here on the backspacer, like a lot of it. And it is really aggressive, but the thing is they didn't carry it into the backspacer. So you're just catching the tops of it. Like on the sides, it feels aggressive, but in hand, it doesn't. So it kind of that having that come up against the backspacer and not go all the way through is kind of limiting the amount of hot spottiness that those are. Like if you were to feel that jimping, you're like, that ah, might be a hot spot. But because the backspacer is cutting it down the middle, it really isn't. You're just catching the tops. Yeah, I really like this. As, as much as I like that DECA, I think I like this more. So let's go ahead and we're gonna bring the Hogue DECA in and we're gonna talk about the, the who won this versus battle for these first impressions. So we're gonna do a couple categories here. General all overall appearance in this knife fight here, I would say it goes to the Hogue DECA hands down. That is the that is the best done blue fat carbon fiber style I've seen and it's got just enough metallic in it. I think hands down that takes the cake for appearance. Um, the fact is I like a good frame lock. So as far as the type, you know, type of lock, I'm going to give it to this one. Um, but overall for carry and stuff like this, comfort in hand, I think the deck is going to take it overall. Like the overall win is going to go to this one. Like if I was going to buy one of the two of these right now, first impressions in this knife fight, I would say I would go with the Hogue Deca. Um, Two reasons. One, I love Hogue. I've loved Hogue stuff. I've had Hogue grips on my pew pews. They're great people. And as much as I say it doesn't, it doesn't really pertain, it is an American-made knife, and it's being done really, really well. Like, I'm going to say that Hogue is doing Benchmade better than Benchmade. And I find that great. So I'm going to have to say that the overall win on this one for overall carry, appearance, and everything is going to go to the Hogue Deca. So there you go, guys. In this knife fight, Scorpion versus Sub-Zero, I got to give it to Sub-Zero, even though Scorpion was my favorite character in the game. So, all right, guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. It was first impressions. And like I said at the table, I have, I have kept myself away from playing with these knives so I could do the first impressions side by side because it is kind of cool having one that looks like Scorpion, having one that has the Sub-Zero colors. So, at any rate... You know, a little bit of Mortal Kombat for you on this morning. Uh, guys, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I work really hard on some of this stuff. It has literally taken me days to figure out how I wanted to do this video. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if you, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as, like I always say, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. But hit that bell icon and make sure you have notifications turned on in your device. That way you get notified of everything I do. Uh, if you want to support the channel financially, however, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. They're all in the description below. I have a membership that gets you all kinds of different benefits, including a gilded server that's open for everyone. Everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service, and there's a premium tier sharpening tutorial series. Uh, other ways you can do it, I have affiliate links down below. Anything you purchase, I get a little bit of checkout. It doesn't cost you anything. And the final way is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. Any merchandise you purchase, I can save you 10% at checkout by giving you the coupon code crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp. And if you take a picture of you wearing my merchandise, I will put it in a video in the background. So guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.